This church service in Bujumbura is a stark reminder of the tension in the country. Friends and family are gathered here for the funeral of a couple that was murdered in a recent wave of killings. They are part of at least 13 people who died in the past week in disarmament efforts by the government, leaving many locals here worried. We ask, especially the police and the judiciary, public ministries, starting with the public prosecutor of the Republic, to take measures to stop these criminals. We just lost loved ones. They have been savagely killed. We just want justice and we want to know the truth. We also want to know the reason for these hateful crimes. That is all we ask for. On Friday, scores of people were fleeing parts of the capital before a looming security crackdown that has raised further fears. We are very scared of what is to come. We saw our neighbors fleeing and decided to leave. Statements from government officials have been blamed for most of the panic in the capital, with some being cited as being inflammatory. But in its defense, the government says that the disarmament process is meant to prevent terror attacks by Al-Shabaab. Burundi is one of the countries contributing troops to an African Union force fighting the Al-Shabaab in Somalia. This crisis has seen most media outlets in Burundi shut down as journalists are fleeing due to threats. And with the deadline to the disarmament having lapsed on Saturday night, it's still to be seen what will happen. Many fear an escalation of the already volatile situation. The UN Security Council is slated to hold a meeting that will include representatives of the African Union in discussions seeking a way forward for Burundi. Leslie Murungu, CCTV.